you recall from my last video, I bought a 1TB SSHD Fire CUDA from Seagate and I was complaining about the latch mechanism for the SATA cable. There isn't any latch mechanism. Uh, it doesn't actually lock in place so the, ca the SATA cable will just slide off. So as promised, I got the 2TB variant of the SSHD Fire CUDA to see whether it's the same thing. And unfortunately it is. But the point of this video is not because of this uh, latch issue, uh, but the performance. So let's dive into it. But before that, help the channel by subscribing. For this exercise, we're going to use Parkdale to measure the write and read performance of all four drives. We have four drives to test. On the upper left, NVMe. On the upper right, the SSD. On the lower left, the SSHD. And the lower right, just a regular hard drive. Let's jump into it. Of course, as expected, the highest performer is the NVMe. And without question, it's followed by the SSD. Then the SSHD. And lastly, the bottom performer the standard hard drive. If you are low in funds and not so particular with performance, hands down choose the SSHD Farcuda. This 1TB drive will cost you $90 in Lazada. With this performance and price, it is a great deal. Of course, if you have the budget, you can pair this with an NVMe or SSD. Personally, if my motherboard supports M.2, I would choose the NVMe over the SSD because not only it outperforms the SSD, the price difference is really small. If this video will help you decide which hard drive to purchase on your new project or on your up-and-coming upgrade, toss me a like and don't forget to subscribe.